as we have a back and forth kicks from Asuka, punches from Tetsuya Naito, but Naito is going to crumble under the pressure of Asuka's kicks. Oh, stuffs Tetsuya Naito with a powerbomb! 2.9, Asuka almost got him! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Extra 5 Grand. We are now on round number three, the top 16 wrestlers, the top 16 patrons are here. And the final eight will be determined in this video. Remember guys, I love to hear what your favorite match was of the video down in the comments below once you finish. If you wanna join PCW next month, you can do so. All you gotta do is check the link in the description below. Leave a thumbs up to show your support. And without any further ado, we can jump right into round number three. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Sydney W from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's wearing a lot of black stuff. Alistair Black. And his opponent, representing Mr. Weston from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He wore a small cowboy hat at one point. Kurt Angle. There is so many dream match scenarios in this entire PCW Extra 5 Grand Tournament. It's insane. We have Alistair Black versus Kirk Angle. I mean, this is just, it's crazy. Well, we'll see, I guess, who is going to come out on top here and take the respective patron to the next round as they are firing off real quick. They got into this like it was nothing. Like, they were ready, prepared for each other. They've been watching the tapes. Alistair Black been watching old videos of Kurt Angle with small cowboy hats and milk trucks. I mean, it's crazy out here. He's going to put the stretch on Angle. We are in round number three of this tournament. So things start to get a little crazy around this time as wrestlers are more and more fatigued, more and more hurt. Things start to get a little wild as Kurt Angle is going to hit a body slam in the corner here. And Alistair Black's going to fire back with a forearm and a single leg Boston Crab. The vintage fire pro wrestling world way to win. A forearm there from Kurt Angle, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and you were going to be seeing a lot of those in this match. It's almost like Scott Steiner was here. Kurt Angle going to pick up Aleister Black. Aleister Black, a pure veteran in PCW, while Kurt Angle is looking to make his name. <laughs> Aleister Black with a black mass out of nowhere, three minutes and ten seconds in, but Kurt Angle is going to be able to kick out at two, and he's going to, oh my goodness, is he going to try to, he's going to chuck out Aleister Black? Kurt Angle is not playing. A knee will drop Kurt from behind. I thought Alistair might go for that black mask, but he doesn't do so. A brain buster there from Alistair Black, but you can see the fatigue in that move as Alistair just tosses Kurt Angle with the greatest of ease. Top rope now Black waits for him to get up. Big front missile drop kick will drop the Olympic hero. DDT from Kurt Angle causes a reset here. Four minutes, 30 seconds. I told you, round three is always when it gets crazy. Big release German to the floor on the outside. Kurt trying to take some extra time on the ground as Black is not going to wait at all. And that might bite him in the butt as Kurt Angle kicks him in the abdomen and sends him back a few feet. Alistair Black out at two. Going for the deadlift German suplex on Kurt Angle. The strength of Alistair Black. This man's got it in droves. An ankle lock from Kurt Angle! Is Aleister Black going to be... But oh, nice kick in the leg out. Good way to get out of that. A DDT, we've seen him on tournament long here. Kurt Angle now, exactly where he wants to be. He wants that Olympic slam. Let's see if he gets it. Off the rope, belly-to-belly -belly suplex. As we are now in the corner, another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. I told you once, you, once Kurt Angle gets started, you can't stop him. Aleister Black's going to have to start something here. Or it's going to start to go real, real bad here as he locks in another ankle lock. Is Kurt Angle going to be able to take Mr. Weston to the next round? Snap suplex from Alistair Black now as Kurt Angle is looking a little woozy-poozy. The crowd has woken up for this match here as Alistair Black with a big drop kick to Kurt Angle will flush him hard. Oh, wait, Kurt was going for some sort of forearm there, but Alistair Black's going to drive him back with a back driver. Near the ropes. Another deadlift German suplex from Alistair Black. The pure strength and agility of this man cannot be undersold. But Alistair's going to be able to stop that German suplex. Does you get Kurt started on these German suplexes? And he grapevine the ankle. Give up. Alistair Black able to get out. 
Wait a minute, a dragon sleeper! And Alistair Black defeated the Olympic hero and will be taking Sydney W to the next round. Alistair Black, a pure veteran here in PCW. And I can't say any more about the man. Good luck in the next round, brother. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Sam M from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is one half of the Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega. I am in the top 1%. And his opponent, on the way to the ring, representing Ashton C from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's rich, I think. E C three. While I would probably say that Kenny Omega has the upper hand in this bout, it's hard to say that after seeing EC 3s performance in the last round. I mean, that Pete Dunn match was nothing short of absolutely insane. I mean, easy three, that was his coming out match. Like, this man proved himself to be a true competitor here in PCW. I talked to him, actually, because he wanted to get up with me. So he DM'd me and he said, hey, listen. He said, look here, look, listen. I said, okay, easy, I'm listening, I'm looking, I'm listening, man. And he said, look, it's not the stroke that I'm doing. It's the one percenter. And then I sent him a DM back and I said, shut the fuck up, I call it as I see it, that's a stroke, and I blocked him. So that, that's how that conversation went. So either way you can do it, I call it as I see it. Big Poison Rana there from Kenny Omega, who is now facing... Kenny Omega is running ECT through, through here. He is running him through here with the face washes, big jump and suplex from the Omega Man. Kicks him straight in the noggin. EC3 has got to make up some ground here as Kenny Omega is just running him through. Big back driver there. Look at the delts on Kenny Omega. It's insane. Two body guys once again getting behind him. What a sequence! And drops him in the one-winged angel. And it's a two. EC3 kicked out. Wow. EC3 kicked out. Body slam here trying to go for a pin. Sorry, brother. This ain't the WWE. You're going to put up something a little better than that. Off the ropes. Back elbow there, going for the pin. Kenny Omega not even going to entertain the idea of losing to that. And now we have a back and forth here as we're throwing punches and forearms. And they are still going, throwing the punches and forearms. EC3 with the lariat. Kenny Omega with a super kick. Kenny Omega now off the ropes. Baseball slide drop kick to EC3. I thought we were going to go right back into it again. I didn't know what to expect there. EC trying to get towards the rope. I'm not sure why. Oh, nice. Just runs right through him with that. Picks EC3 back up into the corner now. EC3's got him where he wants him. <laughs> Doing a little baby spears. That should be Baby Rain's new finisher. EC3 looking for a suplex, but Kenny Omega's going to be able to reverse that around here. They both go for a kick, and Kenny's the one that comes out on top. And Kenny said, this is it. Drops him. There we go. Double foot stomp. For Kenny Omega, maybe looking for that one-winged angel, but EC3 off the ropes, big lariat. Kenny Omega fighting spirit. Oh, but EC3 gonna go with the balls and then the Vintage Fire Pro single leg Boston Crab. I can appreciate it. Again, EC3, anything it takes to win with a cross face. Anything it takes to win, EC3 will do it. The double foot stomp here from EC3. Oh my goodness. This man is wilding out. The camel clutch isn't going to make Kenny Omega Man give up. Not just yet. A DDT will drop him. A single leg Boston Crab again. This has been quite the run here by EC3. And now EC3's got him in the corner. Stinger Splash. He did beat Sting once. That is true. And he drops him with the 1%. But Kenny Omega just runs right through that move. Wait a minute. He saw this before. EC. Oh, it was about to get crazy. EC3 was looking to dive. This man is bringing it all out, putting everything out on the table. But Kenny Omega saw it coming. He said no to that. Oh, drops Kenny Omega right there with the ECD. Back to back ECDs. And now, whoa, 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 what is this? Whoa, what was that? EC3 is truly breaking moves. 
I've never... This man is bringing out everything. He's putting it all on the table. Kenny Omega now. A double foot stomp from the top rope. Picks up EC3. One-winged angel. And Kenny Omega takes down EC3 with the one-winged angel and will be taking Sam M to the Elite Eight of PCW Extra Five Grand. EC3 put up one hell of a match, tried to bring out everything he could, but Kenny Omega is just too much. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Julian B from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He just recently had a WWE 24 made about him, Jeff Harvey. And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Chris M from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. We're still not sure how he's here, but here he is, Neville. Jeff Hardy and Neville. Go and add it to see who will face the winner of CM Punk and Austin Aries. Just imagine a Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk match, a Neville versus Austin Aries match. They just keep coming with the bangers. Jeff Hardy gonna try to pick up a victory over Neville here quite quick, but you know that Neville ain't gonna go down that easy. Trying to break the harm of, Je the harm of Jeff Hardy. He's got the paint out, he's an all blue baby. Picking up Neville. Jeff Hardy not going to capitalize on having Neville right where he, Neville, right where he wanted him. My southern draw comes through. Single leg drop kick there from Neville with a V. Even though his name would be quite interesting with a B. It's Neville. If he went to TNA. <laughs> it's Neville. Off the ropes. Now underneath goes Neville. Step up, Enziguri will drop Jeff Hardy and then just kicks him in the back of the head for good measure. Off the ropes. Ooh, big Rana off the ropes there. Shooting star press from the floor. Always impressive from Neville. As Jeff Hardy picks him up and just tosses him down. Jeff Hardy's kind of the old school flyer while Neville's sort of the new school flyer. It's an interesting dynamic here. Hardy off the ropes. Maybe looking for that baseball slide drop kick. Neville now going to go for the Northern Lights finish here, a la Unbreakable 2005, but he's not going to get it now as Jeff Hardy will slide through. Big front missile drop kick from the Hardinator. Goes for a kick, but Neville able to catch it with a Dragon Court show. He is going. He is very determined to break that harm of Jeff Harvey. And I don't know if he's going to be able to get through with that, but he's going to keep trying. The back and forth now, the punches. Jeff Hardy is able to do the damn thing. Oh, the kick to the midsection. Not even going to drop Hardy. He's been working that core a little bit, doing some ab work, huh? <laughs> Jeff Hardy going for that Rana, but Neville saw it coming. Able to grab the leg and go into a submission, which shows you how impressive Neville is. But wait a minute. A twist of fate. That could be all she wrote as he goes to cover Neville. Just a two count, though, as Neville is able to power out. A body slam will send Jeff Hardy out as Neville will now go to the center of the ring to try and maybe get some stamina back before Hardy's able to roll back in. A DDT will drop Jeff Hardy. This is not where, this is not where Jeff Hardy wants to be. Wow! Dragon Rana! Just a two. Lord, the Northern Lights suplex. Just a two. Neville's bringing it all out. Midsection kick there. He's gonna go for that baseball slide kick right there. He does such a thing as he picks Jeff Hardy up now. Outside the ring goes Jeff Hardy as Neville Why moves on to the floor on the outside. The kick there from Neville, but a twist of fate on the floor. What is going on in this match? They have gone off the rails. We could get a double count out. No, they're both going to get back in at about 13 here. Wait a minute. What is Jeff Hardy rolling through? Just a two count as Neville's able to kick out into the corner goes Jeff Harvey. Neville now from the top. Big superplex from Neville. Oh, into the rings of Saturn. That is just brutal. Jeff Harvey not done just yet. He's got to go to the super slam. Hardy picks him back up. Wait a minute, Neville. Big sit out powerbomb. 
It is a three! Neville picks up the victory against Jeff Hardy and will be taking Chris M to the next round in PCW Extra Five Grand. My man was able to pull through. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Tyler L. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. Does anyone even listen to these? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? CM Punk! And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Hail Mendoza from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. I'm super lonely, Austin Aries! And now we have Trunks Austin Airy facing off against CM Punk with the hair. This man's got the hair. We'll see which one can come out on top. Two ROH alumni. As Aries is going to take him down with a fireman's carry. Look at that tape on his arm. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What are you doing over there? Boston Crab from CM Punk. The vintage fire pro wrestling world move. Aries gonna go for a pin early, but she, I, I mean, come on, Aries. You kind of knew that wasn't gonna go through, right? Let's be real here. You kind of knew what was gonna happen there, right? Aries now with a big swinging neck breaker, able to drop him, but wait a minute. CM Punk said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Does a little swinging neck breaker of his own, not able to do very much there in terms of pins, but a suplex sending Aries to the floor will work very well for CM Punk at this point in the matchup. The kicks there, the combination flurry from CM Punk will send Aries back a few feet before going for a pin. Just a two count, though, as Aries is able to kick out. Swinging neckbreaker there from Aries. Looks to be going for the neck of CM Punk. As he hits a suplex, he might be wanting that brain buster here soon. The back and forth here from both men continues with the punches. And CM Punk's the one that's going to come out on top of that one. Punk sends Aries off the ropes. Hits him with the knee to the stomach. Wait a minute, Punk. A hail to the king, but Aries was able to get out of the way. And Aries now, suplex to CM Punk in the corner, will go for a pin off of it. Just a two. Aries just sends him to the floor with that STO. And now Punk with the combination flurry once again. Center of the ring, Austin Aries, suplex again. Every time he does it, I get ready for a brain buster. That scares me every time. Oh, CM Punk going into the well a little too much as Aries was able to catch the leg. Dragon corkscrew, a double axe handle to the back of the neck bone. A belly to back suplex from CM Punk as Austin Aries is able to kick his way back to the top. A little groggy, but thankfully that kick was able to get him where he needed to be. Brain buster from Austin Aries, center of the ring. And it's a 2.9 as CM Punk gets out of it. A swinging neck breaker. Aries is now solo targeting that neck. CM Punk firing away. Swinging neck breaker. Aries able to put him to the ground. The crowd is starting to wake up for this matchup. Three, two, three. Aries? Austin Aries? I'm uh, bamboozled. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Red Eye from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is a former PCW World's Champion, Tetsuya Naito. And his opponent on the way to the ring representing Mass Effects from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. She's the Empress of Tomorrow, the Empress of Today. But what is today but yesterday's tomorrow? Asuka! Now this is an interesting matchup. We have Asuka facing off against the former PCW World Champion Tetsuya Naito. Hmm, we'll see if she can do the thing or if Tetsuya Naito will be moving on once again. Asuka trying to fire away with something. Naito now sending her into the corner. Asuka with the arm. What arm thing, homie? Oh my goodness! Dro dropping an ankle lock on Tetsuya Naito is Asuka. 
as she goes for the kicks. A win over Naito here would be huge for Asuka in PCW. She's going to be trying her hardest here. We'll see if she can get it done. The Destino is just, it's so OP. It's so good. And Naito, oh, wait a minute. As I'm saying that, Asuka will lock in an arm bar on Naito. But Naito will say no to that. Oh, a spinning kick just floored Naito backwards. Asuka trying to get Naito from behind, but Naito is going to be able to not capitalize on that moment now as Asuka is going to hit that buzzsaw kick. Swinging neck breaker from Naito, who is looking to get redemption and get his PCW World's Championship back from Big Bear. But to do so, he has to get past Asuka, and that seems to be pretty tough for him right now. As we have a back and forth kicks from Asuka, punches from Tetsuya Naito, but Naito is going to crumble under the pressure of Asuka's kicks. Oh, stuffs Tetsuya Naito with a power bomb. 2.9, Asuka almost got him. Step up Enzigiri there from Naito who goes to the top. Stardust press to the back of Asuka. She can have a broken back for all we know. Just a two count though as Asuka is able to answer the call. The big triple kick there. Naito now, oh, what's Naito thinking? What is he thinking? Swinging neck breakers is what he's thinking as he picks Asuka up again, wants to continue that momentum. Drops her flush here, and we have a reset at 4 minutes, 50 seconds. Oh my god! He went for the Liger kick, but Asuka moved out of the way! The Gooch Destroyer, the Atomic Drop. Naito off the ropes, big forearm flush Asuka, but Asuka's got a kick that'll put her back into this matchup. The triple kicks from Asuka now. Center of the ring, forearm to the back of the neck. Naito sends her off the ropes, jumps over her. Big forearm smash. Asuka has got Naito groggy. Look at that stance. Off the ropes. Asuka, but both will hit the floor. Six minutes, 30 seconds into this matchup. Swinging neck breaker from Naito. We have not seen a Destino yet. Asuka is able to stop that from happening, but a kick to the back of the head. That could be it. I think she just flushed Naito. No, just a two count. Naito able to kick out. Swinging neck breaker from Asuka now as Naito picks her back up, but Asuka is still fighting in this. An ankle lock on the former champion. And he is able to fight through and stop the ankle lock, but Asuka's fury does not stop there. Dragon Sleeper! No, it is not over just yet. Tetsuya Naito not one to give up. Asuka able to stop him once again. The crowd is starting to come alive. Tetsuya Naito center of the ring when the crowd starts coming alive. Naito starts to power up. Asuka has got to watch out. The triple kicks from Asuka. She has had quite the offense in this match. A spinning kick. That could be it. And Asuka did it. Asuka defeated the former PCW World's Champion and will be taking Mass Effects to the Elite Eight. Asuka, Naito just lost. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Insurrection from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is the rated R superstar, Edge. And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Alton M, one half of the Golden Lovers, Kota Ibushi. Now, this was the match that I was super interested in right here. Like, this, this is the big one here. Kota Ibushi had such an impressive performance in the last round. And Edge has had an impressive performance the entire tournament. We'll see which one can come out on top and move to the Elite Eight here. Will Edge take Insurrection or will Kota Ibushi take out an M? That's the big question here. As both men are going right at each other early in this matchup here. Kota Ibushi picks up Edge. I mean, when you look at the two movesets here, Kota Ibushi definitely has the killer moveset, but Edge just seems to have that resiliency to get him towards the end. You know, that's what it seems to be happening here. He just gets him towards the end. Now, Kota Ibushi is taking control of this matchup towards the center of the ring. Edge has got to stop that, but a bulldog from Kota Ibushi will say otherwise. I mean, like I said, Kota Ibushi just has so many... Oh, my! I even, he has so many moves to take you out with. The Kami Goye is just so good. An ankle lock there from Kota Ibushi. 
We've seen so many ankle locks. I mean, honestly, it's insane. How many ankle locks can we see in one tournament? Kurt Angle has changed the games for ankle locks. Edge firing off with some punches. He just does not want to get caught by that knee to the noggin. That'd be <laughs> knee to noggins. <laughs> That's a new t-shirt for Kode Ibushi. Cut me a check, brother. I got you. The flurry of punches there from Edge. Oh, he sits him down. Okay. Kode Ibushi trying to get to the ropes, but there's no rope breaks in PCW. The kicks. Another ankle lock on Edge. No, that's not going to be anything. Edge with a DDT. Has Cody Ibushi in the corner. Oh, a kick to the back of the head from Cody Ibushi, but Edge has just enough energy left to stop him from capitalizing on a new sequence. Edge gets out of the corner. Cody Ibushi is a little groggy. Both men are down for a 5 minute 30 second reset. The kick from Cody Ibushi just sent Edge into the corner. What is Cody Ibushi thinking here. Whoa! Sunset flip powerbomb out of the corner from Edge. Oh, 2.9 Ibushi shooting star press out of nowhere. Cody Ibushi now over the rope. What is Edge thinking? Okay. He's going to take the safe route. Get some stamina back. Smart move. Don't want to do anything he's not prepared for. Oh, Edge said he wants that spear. Is he going to get it? Edge. Oh, no. He goes for the shoulder tackle instead. Drops him back over. Trying to make Kota Ibushi submit is a smart move. Ibushi now. Floored again. The momentum is all on Edge right now. The double axe handle to the back of the neck. Kota Ibushi. The scorpion death drop. He's won with this before. Is he going to be able to take out Kota Ibushi here and move on? No, just a two. Ibushi with the kicks. Drops Edge. Kami Goye one more time. And it's just a two. The knees to noggins. Edge gets Coda back up. Coda drops him with a flurry of four one more time. One, two. And it's just a two once again. He drops him. What is Ibu what is Ibushi doing? Ibushi. Ibushi! Big moonsault to the floor on Edge. Ibushi doesn't care. He doesn't care. He will put his life on the line every single match if he needs to. Every single one. Ibushi back in the ring. 15 here. Goes for the kick. And now the back and forth. The kicks from Edge. The kicks, the punches. Edge cannot keep up with the kicks from Cody Ibushi as he kicks him in the neck. Ibushi's wild. Side rush and leg sweep as Edge tries to get back into this matchup. It's been all Ibushi. The forearms. Ibushi with the 450 splash! And that is enough to move Kota Ibushi and Alan M to the next round. Cool! Woo! My man brought it out. Edge, you had one hell of a tournament. But this man, Kota Ibushi's wild. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra Five Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Nick J from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the lane maker, Kazushka Okada. And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Mary W from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he used to be called Spanky. The Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick against Kazuchika Okada. Huh. Interesting here. We'll see if Okada will be able to put away Brian Kendrick after that critical he got in the last round with the captain's hook. You gotta watch out for that. You know that's in the back of the mind of Kazuchika Okada right now. Will I get critical by the captain's hook? You gotta watch out for that. All it takes is one match. And now this man is a lethal killer. Oh, Captain Hook early. One minute, 15 seconds into the match. Damn, I did not expect it to be that quick. Oh, wait a minute. It was looking scary. Anytime Okada gets behind somebody, I'm like, well, that's the end of the match. <laughs> Slap there from Okada-san, who throws Brian Kendrick. Oh, underneath. Or Brian Kendrick's able to stop it by running into Okada. Okada picks up Brian Kendrick. Kendrick knows he has to move quick. 
If you give Okada even a second, it's going to be game over there with the Rainmaker. A slap there from Okada, a punch combination moves here as Brian Kendrick gets him down single leg. Boston Crab here. No road breaks in PCW is going to be the downfall of Okada. The punch there from Kendrick as Okada just sends it. He said, get, get out of here. Get out of here. You're facing the ace. And now we have both men on the outside of the ring at 3 minutes and 30 seconds into this match. Another snap suplex there from Okada as he picks up Big Bra back into the ring. Oh, Okada said it's over. Who he went for that picture perfect drop kick. Brian Kendrick drops him down. Kendrick now dragging Okada center of the ring, picking him back up into the corner. This is not, ooh, that's sliced bread. But Okada's able to get him out. Okada does not want to get hit by that. Back to the center now. Oh, big leaping tombstone pile driver. Is Brian Kendrick going to go home? No, just a two count. Into the corner. He wants that slice bread. You can see it in his eyes. Big drop kick. Flips back over. That was nice. A nice fireman's carry will put Okada down in the corner. Brian Kendrick is trying to keep Okada off his feet, which is a very smart move here. Oh, look at that drop kick. 10 out of 10. Oh, Okada was looking for that Rainmaker. Wait a minute. He's able to Rainmaker. And Brian Kendrick's able to answer it too. As he picks Okada back up, a shoot headbutt there will drop Okada in the turnbuckle. Swinging neck breaker in the corner here as Okada picks Brian Kendrick back up. Oh, he won it again. You can see it in his eyes. Wait a minute. Okada able to reverse that slice bread into a suplex in the corner here. Going for the shoulder of Okada, trying to stop that Rainmaker by any means necessary. Fireman's carry will send him into the corner as Brian Kendrick gets behind him. Going for a driver. Oh, no, 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 no. Okada got Brian Kendrick up. Fireman's carry again. Anything he can do to keep the big man Okada off his feet. Going for a suplex for Brian Kendrick. Reverses with a suplex of his own. And we have a reset here at eight minutes into this match. Oh, wait a minute. Drops Kendrick on his neck bone. This is not looking good for Brian Kendrick, who is out on his feet. A DDT will drop Kendrick as Okada is looking to finish this match. But wait a minute. Airplane spin. We have an airplane spin. Okada is a little woozy doozy. Oh, I didn't think Okada was going to drop. I thought he was just going to stop it. But he falls to the ground now as Okada snaps suplex on Brian Kendrick. Another minute passes. Brian Kendrick will chase Okada outside of the ring. We'll see what happens as he body slams Brian Kendrick onto the floor on the outside. Goes for some forearms of his own as Brian Kendrick looks to try to get as many moves as possible on Kendrick. <laughs> on, on himself. Kendrick back into the ring. Oh, wait a minute, Okada. Nope, 15. Okada gets back in the ring. The crowd appreciates this match, but this is not where Brian Kendrick wants to be. A senton there from Okada. Suplex. Uh-oh. Brian Kendrick able. He saw it coming. Ooh, I thought maybe he could have stole. I don't know what was going on there. Off the ropes goes Okada with a big front missile drop kick. He wants the Rainmaker. And, oh, oh, Okada wasn't able to get it. Wait a minute. Does he? No, the back and forth sequence here. Kendrick is doing anything he can to stop that Rainmaker. He does not want to get hit by that. Oh, sends him backwards. But Okada fighting spirit sends. Oh, my goodness. The back and forth is crazy. He sends Kendrick to the outside. Okada going to take the second to get that stamina back. Kendrick rolls back into the ring here. And the crowd has come alive here in PCW. The back and forth Kendrick super kick. Okada with a big boot. Okada now in position in this match. Wait a minute, Brian Kendrick. No, Okada going to send him out. Trying to get some stamina back, Okada. Big snap suplex. Kendrick down center of the ring. This match has gone a lot longer than I suspected. Death Valley driver from Okada. As both men are down, Kendrick. Uh-oh. Kendrick is groggy. DDT from Kazuchika Okada. Brian Kendrick, desperation to do anything he can to try to stop. But an airplane spin, this is a good move by Brian Kendrick to try to discombobulate the ace. But Okada is right back to his feet. 
That is a scary sight, people. The Frankensteiner spike into the floor. Brian Kendrick, driver back on Kazuchika Okada. 15 minutes in, the crowd is losing their minds. Wait a minute, ooh, a float around DDT, I like it. Okada now trying to get something started. A fireman's carry from Brian Kendrick will keep him off his feet. Off the ropes. Oh, a big single leg drop kick there from Brian Kendrick. But wait a minute. He hurt himself more. Rainmaker! Center of the ring. And Kazuchka Okada takes control of the situation and is taking Nick J to the next round in PCW Extra 5 Grand. You got to watch out for that Rainmaker, cuz. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round three match in the PCW Extra 5 Grand Tournament. Introducing first, representing Connor R from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's just too cool. D, D, P. And his opponent on the way to the ring, representing Dean L from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. A goo goo, a gaga, baby rings. D, D, P with a belly tape versus baby rings. And Baby Rain's gonna go straight forward with the Hogan leg drop, brother, brother. This is the last match of round number three to round out the Elite Eight. Will DDP join the rest of the men? Or will Roman Reigns be the person to do it? We will see. DDP with a jawbreaker there on Roman Reigns. A swinging neck breaker on Baby Reigns with his baby neck. It's a good strategy here. But Roman Reigns is gonna hit him with a suplex and turn things around for just a second. Going for a big boy clothesline, but a gut wrench suplex will send the big dog over just a smidge. The shoulder tackle from Baby Reigns. He said, your shoulders are a lot bigger than mine, but mine are very adorable. The Gotch Guka Destroyer. <laughs> the Gotch Destroyer. Got that mixed up with the pile driver and the Gooch. <laughs> Roman, ooh, gut wrench suplex or tilt to well slam more so. Goes for a headlock. Look at DDP's mouth. Nothing was wide open. That was that man was hurting. Roman Reigns wants that sit out power bomb, but DDP knew it was coming. We didn't see a diamond cutter last match. We'll see if we get one this match. DDP picks up the big dog with the discus lariat, just floors him. Another one back to back. Does he want three in a row? Does he want three in a row? Well, Roman Reigns is not going to allow it to happen. Big power slam into the Hogan leg drop, brother, brother. Off the ropes, Baby Reigns tilt to world slam from DDP now. The back and forth here. Look at the strength of Baby Reigns as the crowd comes alive with respect. The clothesline. And now the back and forth here. DDP and Roman Reigns. They are still going. DDP with a discus lariat. Roman Reigns with a lariat of his own. This is big boy strong style right here. Roman Reigns with a punch to the abdomen will take DDP down for just a second. Looking to capitalize, but DDP will just straight up toss Roman Reigns across the whole ring. Diamond cutter out of nowhere, but Baby Reigns said, come here, boy. Baby Reigns is going for that pin. Just a two count as DDP kicks out. Baby Reigns with a sit out power bomb. And it's just a two. DDP said no, not yet. Not yet. Out goes DDP. Baby Reigns is chasing him, throwing him in. This is getting personal. Wait a minute, DDP. Spinning power bomb, but he can't win on the outside and he is going back in. Baby Reigns gonna take a few seconds there. He knows the count. The crowd comes alive as DDP with the diamond cutter. And DDP beat Baby Reigns. DDP will be taking Connor R to the Elite Eight. DDP is showing everybody that he still has it. And that is round number three of PCW Extra Five Grand. We have the Elite Eight, everybody. And then we will go down and see who will win the whole thing and face off against the world's champion, Big Bear, 
for that world championship. All of that is in the next video. So remember, tell me down in the comments what your favorite match was. Leave a thumbs up to share your support. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And I will see you then. See you.